It was a tough opening leg on the new look gravel the hit rally hungry. That from the rainers hopes came to a crunching end in Saturday's second stage. A heavy landing damaged the former champion's radiator and the MRF pilot was forced to retire from the event soon after. Matthew Franceschi made a stunning start in his upgraded Skoda Fabia with a first fastest time in the ERC in the day's opener. The former French gravel champion's early momentum would be short-lived. A slow speed roll in the marathon stage three was followed by a shredded tire. But an afternoon fight back from the 24-year-old, including second and third stage wins and a climb from ninth to seventh. Big things were expected from local star Mixi Chomos. The Hungarian hero is renowned for his extravagant style, but began strangely subdued. A stage winner in the short stage four and some wild moments in the afternoon saw the local star running sixth. Miko Marchik was already playing catch up after a stage one error, but a steady start to Saturday saw the Michelin shod Skoda driver down in ninth. The Polish star too cautious at times again in the afternoon, but had climbed to fifth position overall. Reigning champion Hayden Padden knew starting with nine rapid runners behind him on the road would leave him with a grip disadvantage. The Kiwi, though, had a typically strong day, using all of his experience and tyre management to find himself fourth and within reach of the podium places. Simone Tempestini is still searching for more consistency in the ERC, but this was building into a promising start to the year. The keen motorsport run driver winning the challenging stage three in the morning, and despite coming under pressure in the repeat loop, the Romanian retained his grip on third place. Out front, though, were two drivers proving the promise of the new Rally 2 Toyota. Martin Sesk was relishing the handling and pace of his new ride into the lead in Stage 5, and with a stage win following, the Latvian was looking strong, only for a puncture late in the final test to cost valuable seconds. The fight at the front had been fierce. Mikko Heikela had led through the morning, but a pop-up valve turbo issue later on was a frustrating setback. The lead was handed back to the 32-year-old, though, following Sess's late frustration. At the end of Saturday, Hakelet was back in the top spot then, but only by 2.3 seconds from Sess's, Tempestini in a terrific third, with the reigning champion Padden 5.7 further back. There would be more ERC heartbreak for Mikko Hakela on the final day of Rally Hungary. The rally leader starting with a pair of stage wins, but there was an extraordinary slice of bad luck at the end of the morning. The front's left wheel on the Toyota completely sheared off, and the suspension going with it in the blink of an eye, Hakela's heroic run was done. So Martin Sesk was promoted back into the top spot and had built up a lead of almost seven seconds coming into the penultimate test, when remarkably drama would strike once again. The luckless Latvian sustaining heavy damage to the left rear corner and we lost our second leader in the space of three stages. <laughs> Eric Seiss was fighting hard on the final day. This overshoot a little frustrating, but following another punch of a Mikko Marcic, an aggressive run from the 24-year-old Czech saw him move into the top five. <laughs> The final day charge from the reigning champion Hayden Padden was slow to materialise, but the experienced Kiwi had edged his way up to second place before, incredibly, a puncture on the end of event power stage saw the Hyundai driver slip to fourth. Mixi Chomos should continue to live life on the edge at times on Sunday. The leading local, though, had managed to rein in most of his more flamboyant urges on his home event, and he would be rewarded with a late podium finish. Well, Matthew Franceschi had continued to fight back into contention after his day one dramas. With the AMD Motorsport run Skoda still consistently rapid, the Frenchman moved past Chomosh on the final afternoon for what became an emotional first podium finish in second. And remarkably, following Sesk's late, late nightmare, Simone Tempestini found himself in the top spot with one stage remaining. The 24-year-old Romanian had enjoyed a fine run as he survived the near-constant pressure from Padden to claim a first-ever victory and first podium, no less, after 16 starts at the top level of the ERC category.
Tempestini holding on for a dramatic first ERC win by 17 seconds from Franceschi, who also claimed a first podium with local hero Chomosh finishing third. And Tempestini takes the early lead in the championship standings with Franceschi taking the power stage win as well to add to his impressive tally.